Hello and thank you once again for joining us for an SCBA Reflection. Uh, this past week uh, I watched a programme uh, that really moved me. It was uh, a programme uh, starring a, an English cricketer. You won't be surprised that I wanted to watch that. Uh, but it wasn't about cricket uh, per se, it was about the person. Uh, and the programme was entitled Freddie Flintoff uh, Living with Bulimia. Uh, now, you may not be a cricket fan, so let me just explain to you who Freddie is. Uh, so, Freddie is the poster boy, really, or, or was anyway, of English cricket. Back in 2005, when we won back the ashes from the Australians, he was a key figure. He was a talisman, uh, this swashbuckling adventurer uh, with ball uh, in hand or smashing the ball out of the ground uh, with a bat. Uh, he seemed to be this cheeky chappy, uh, the person who seemed to have the world at his feet. But during this remarkable piece last week, um, he talked about even then at the zenith of his powers, uh, he was struggling uh, with bulimia. Uh, it was something he shared with his wife, but he felt he couldn't share with anyone else. I'm not sure if another member of the, the team were aware of it. I certainly, as a supporter and a fan, uh, had no idea that he was going through those kind of struggles. And, and it's that subject of hiding things that I want us to reflect on uh, this week, because I must be honest, I, I was a big fan of Freddie Flintoff before that programme, but now he's, um, he's taken on a whole new uh, sense of uh, respect for me uh, in terms of the way that he courageously shared uh, the struggles that he was going through and continues uh, to go through. Uh, we hide lots of things, don't we? And as ministers, we're not immune uh, from that. Uh, in, in a previous role that I had in another part of the country, I had leaders who would say to me, Dave, ask me questions about how much wine I'm drinking. I had others who'd say to me, Dave, keep a check on this or keep a check on that. And I greatly appreciated um, their openness and, and their honesty. We, we can hide all manner of things. And uh, with my hat uh, of safeguarding lead for uh, the association, I am uh, particularly aware of the dangers of hiding things that can come back and not only hurt us, but hurt others. So it's important that we reflect uh, on this question about transparency. I came across this blog uh, earlier in the year uh, from a Baptist pastor who's now serving uh, up in the uh, Yorkshire area. Uh, and he talks about the impact losing his wife through cancer had on him back in 2018. Uh, he writes this. I knew I needed help, but I'm stubborn. The breakthrough came when I went to the doctors for something quite minor. In the surgery waiting room, there was a magazine containing an article with extensive quotes from the actress Emma Thompson about her own battle with depression. I have the article in front of me now as I type, he says. She spoke of the mild depression she periodically experiences, depression that became overwhelming following the breakup of her marriage. Everyone's experience is unique, but to my astonishment, she basically described how I was feeling. The struggle to get up, the tears, the forced cheerfulness, the reluctance to seek help, it was all there. The description, mild depression, is important. There are many who suffer far worse, but she had needed help, and so did I. I decided not to bother the doctor with the minor ailment. Instead, I would talk about the real problem. And it's this issue about getting real, getting honest uh, when we're in trouble and stop hiding that I think is really crucial here. He goes on to say that having spoken to the doctor, he decided to open up with his leadership um, team and uh, entrusted friends. And at this time of COVID is affecting us all in different kinds of ways. And us, uh, many are now going back into fresh lockdowns. In fact, our three children are all in lockdown at the moment. 
uh, Sue and I have sensed a, a, a change in us um, as we're aware that we won't be able to see our children or, or grandchildren for who knows how long. So can I please encourage you to stop hiding whatever it is that may be going on at the moment. Uh, find somebody you can trust to share that. Uh, as a regional minister, I, I, I say on behalf of the team, we'd, we'd love you to talk to us. Um, we are in this together. Uh, one of the things that um, I uh, was keen to do when I came into this role, a very different role to the one that I've had for many, many years as a local church pastor, uh, but I desperately wanted to seek out a mentor. Uh, and uh, I, I found that uh, a really frustrating experience trying to find somebody uh, that actually I could go to, somebody that I could open up about, but all manner of things. Uh, thankfully, I've found somebody, uh, and it's something I would um, commend to each of us. Um, if you want more on that, please speak to Joth, who heads up the mentoring side of things, but uh, whether it's an official mentor or just, a, just somebody you trust, talk about these things. As we hide, I just want to reassure you and reassure myself that God knows what we're going through. And as we hide, he seeks us and he comes to us with this invitation to receive from him. Can I share these verses uh, with you from Isaiah? Well-known verses, but they've come through to me fresh again uh, in recent days. Come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread and your labour on what does not satisfy? Listen, listen to me and eat what is good. And your soul will delight in the richest of fare. Give year and come to me, hear me that your soul may live. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Right now you may feel that you've got nothing much to bring to God. But the invitation's for all of us. However spent we feel, however bankrupt we may feel spiritually, we might feel dry as a crisp. <laughs> but he says to us to come. And you know, as he sought Adam and Eve in the garden when they hid and covered up, so he seeks us now and says, come and I will give you rest. Shall we pray? Father, thank you for this remarkable invitation uh, to just be real with you, to share it how it is and not how we would hope it to be. Would you give us the courage uh, to share with others how we really are. And Lord, we want to say thank you that you know us through and through and you love us as we are. But Father, we thank you that you want to take us by the hand and walk us into green pastures. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>